Welcome to episode 434, Stephen Shulman, Elastic Soft, a new search and data engine. This is an outline of episode 434. Why do I study Stephen Shulman? First, he's leading the next generation search engine and data engine. Second, he's the first Dutch self-made billionaire I do after doing many from Hong Kong, Sweden, Hungary, Israel, etc. Let us meet Stephen Shoreman. Well, Elastic is the company that created a, an open source platform, which is referred to as the Elastic Stack. And basically what it is, it's a set of products, which is a really, which is together combined is a, a really versatile data platform used by uh, very large and very small companies all over the world. So it's, it's lots of companies and various. Basically what they all do is they try to solve a very specific problem. And that is how do they extract value out of really large and sometimes super, super large volumes of data in real time. In 2018, Shulman is 42 years old. He earned a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering from the Hague University of Applied Sciences. Universities and Universities of Applied Sciences. The Hague University of Applied Sciences belongs to the latter category. Somewhere along the way, Schumann got hooked on Lucene Open Software Model and became an elite Java developer. In 2004, at the age of 28, he co-founded Spring Source, a middleware company based on Lucene Apache open source code. He hit the jackpot in 2009 when VMware bought Spring Source for $420 million. At age 33, Shoreman has become a very rich man. In 2012, Shoreman co-founded Elastic Search with three others in Amsterdam, Netherlands. These are the names of the four co-founders. Sorry, I'm not good at pronouncing Dutch names. Well, the reality is that um, with Elastic Search being called Elastic Search and and the vast majority of our users using us for vanilla, straightforward search solutions for the first couple of years since we, uh, yeah, since uh, since the, the the project itself, Elasticsearch was founded, mm -hmm. but also when the company was uh, was was founded, we, we 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 thought it made a lot of sense to actually call the company Elasticsearch after its main product. Mm -hmm. But what we always envisioned after we founded the company is that uh, we needed to expand our product stack basically in two directions on the front end towards the user, so with more uh, kind of UI, visual user interface kind of capabilities, and on the, on the back end more towards um, various different data sources. Um, and well, the front end became Kibana, and on the back end we had uh, Logstash, uh, together making the, making the Elastic stack um, at that point uh, in time. But what we also found is that as we started to expand the scope of our, our product stack, we also saw more and more people that initially started using the software for vanilla search. They started using it for, for, for analytics type capabilities. Mm -hmm. So basically aggregating different parts of the data and visualizing through pie charts, graphs, um, stacked bar charts, what have you, all kinds of, of visualizations, which ultimately evolved over the past year and a half, two years into a pretty comprehensive analytics stack that still is able to process and analyze data as it gets really, really big, as in petabytes of data mm -hmm. spread out over hundreds and hundreds of servers. And the great thing about it is that you can still get results in kind of milliseconds, so you get real-time results. And that's why, wow. yeah, we said, okay, now this is becoming a big chunk of our of our um, yeah of our usage across the globe. And yeah, Elasticsearch, that's still the core, but we do so much more. Yeah, and people like the elasticity of what we do. So let's rebrand the company to Elastic. And it was received pretty well, so. Elastic Software went through exponential growth and became a unicorn in six years. He's in a subscription model because Elastic Software can be downloaded free. So here's how to charge based on value added. Right. What I've always done with, with Elastic, but also with, um, uh, with my previous companies is spend the most time thinking about where in whatever I do, do I actually add the most value to my customers? And it, once you find that, it becomes easier to figure out what do I charge for? What is my business model? Well, that's one. And the second element of that is 
So what is the right price point? And I think the reality is that there is no silver bullet magic answer there. So what you do is you, at least that's how I do it, I figure out what's fair, uh, what's a fair price point compared to how much business value do I actually add to the customer? And the other part is, well, you also have to look at the cost element, right? So if you think that um, something is worth X, but you need to charge more or you can get away with actually charging less because the costs associated uh, with the product that you're creating are not that high or are... On October 2nd, 2018, Elastic went IPO on the New York Stock Exchange. In just two months, the share price more than doubled and Shoreman became a self-made billionaire. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Stephen Shoreman, Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.